How do you install new Calgon's Easy Seal product? Today we're going to install this leak sealant and UV dye combo inside of this geo unit. If you don't know anything about leak sealants and you want to learn how to use it, today I'm going to show you how. If you want to learn how to search for a leak, I'm going to put a video down below. So if you want to learn how to search for a leak, then you can check that video out and learn more. We're going to look at the other products the new Calgon offers, like the leak detection kit and the other Easy Seal leak sealant products. Just give you an idea of what they've got. Hope you're ready to learn. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's get started. Quick overview of a few different products. This is the one I'm using today. Why? Because I've got a six ton geothermal unit that I'm working on. And this will treat up to seven and a half tons. Plus it has the UV dye. So we're going to be using this. This right here is just the leak sealant. And they've got this for small systems or large systems. This one's for large systems. Treats up to 10 tons. This is just leak sealant. This is just UV dye. So easy dye. You, you want help finding a leak? Easy dye. You want help sealing a leak? You've got the LS. You want help finding the leak and sealing the leak? LS UV. So they've got it for small systems and large systems. And if you use this, you may need the UV leak detection kit, which includes a UV light and then some UV uh, safety glasses. Let's see what's inside the package. On the back, we've got three easy steps. You can just look at the back for the instructions. Take a look inside. We've got this package here. We got some more instructions, three easy steps. And let's open it up and see what we've got inside. Hmm, a tube with a male and a female end and some type of neon substance inside. Anything else? No, nope, nothing else. We got three steps. I'm going to show you how to use this. A few concerns you may have, is it OEM approved? It is OEM approved. Will it clog up your TXVs, your cap tubes, your pistons, or your micro channel coils? No, it will not. No need to pump down the system. Why? Because we're going to use this while the unit's running. And these are the three easy steps. Take a minute, pause the video, read over this, super easy. Now, if you've never worked on a geo unit, but you want training, I've got a bunch of videos down below. They're free. Go learn more. It's in the field experience with me working on different geo units. This is the first time that I will be using the Easy Seal product, and I'm going to talk to you about why I'm using it on this geo system behind me. I came out here about six months ago and I added a pound of refrigerant. I knew it was leaking, so I recovered all the refrigerant and I did a nitrogen pressure test. I could not find visually any signs of a leak. So I charged it back up, factory charge, 88 ounces. It holds a little over five pounds. And I got my leak detector, my electronic leak detector. And I went over the areas where I thought it would be leaking based off of past experiences. And I'm gonna to talk to you about where I usually find leaks on geo units like this. But I'm hoping today, since I could not find a leak and it's a very slow leak, it takes a long time for that refrigerant to leak out. So I think it's in the low side. I'll show you what the low side uh, will be on this uh, geo unit during the cooling operation. But I'm hoping that I'll be able to find that leak now. Or the leak will be eliminated because it'll be sealed with the Easy Seal product. Let me talk to you more about where I find leaks on geo units. And then we're going to get to recovering some refrigerant because I don't know how much refrigerant's in here. And I want to weigh it out and figure out how much was in there. And then I'll be able to factory charge it back. If you don't know anything about geo units, you've got open loop and closed loop. This is an open loop, so it pulls water from the well. It pumps and dumps. We've got our bottom section, which contains our control board and our electrical components. There's the reversing valve. It's a heat pump. Compressor to the left, straight back. We've got our coaxial, and below that, we've got our filter dryer and our thermostatic expansion valve. Up top, we've got our indoor blower motor, our heat kit above that. And then our indoor coil. Our indoor coil in the cooling mode is the evaporator, low side of the system. This becomes cold during the cooling mode. During the heating mode, this coil is the condenser and it becomes very hot. Now we're in the cooling season and it's a very slow leak. So I'm checking the pan 
for oil. I'm just running my finger in there, checking to see if I have oil. And usually this is my number one spot for checking for leaks because I've had a lot of these coils leak. Now I've had other leaking areas. And if you want to check out my other videos below, I, I've got for you, you can learn a lot about these geo units, how to check pressure, how to add water, how to use a flush kit. Now I'm going to go ahead and hook up my gauges to my recovery tank and my recovery machine and go ahead and get started recovering this refrigerant. I want to make sure that I charge it to factory charge and make sure it's charged perfectly before I add the Easy Seal product. Recovering all the refrigerant into the tank. Almost recovered all the refrigerant. If you don't know how to use a recovery machine and recover refrigerant, I'm gonna put a video down below for you so you can learn how. Now that I've recovered the refrigerant, I'm gonna put some nitrogen in, do a triple evac, and then I'm gonna factory charge this equipment before I use the Easy Seal product. Unit is factory charged, 88 ounces. Now we're gonna get the system running and use these three steps to install the Easy Seal product. Step one, identify the high side and the low side service ports. Now that we know where our suction service port is, we're going to install the female fitting onto the suction port. There is a check valve so that you don't have refrigerant backflow. Now that we've installed our easy seal, female fitting screwed onto the suction port, that's what it should look like. Now you want to make sure the system is running and it's in the cooling mode. Make sure to close both valves on the manifold gauge set. Connect high side red hose of the manifold gauge set to the high side service port. We know that's the high side because that's the discharge line. Now we're going to take the middle yellow hose and we are going to barely thread it on to the male side of the injector. And the reason you're doing that is because you don't want to depress the Schrader core because we have to bleed the air out of this line. So barely thread that on there like that. Now we're going to open the high side gauge and bleed the liquid out by opening this. And then we'll use that high side liquid to push the sealant into the system. Unit just kicked on, so let's put some sealant inside. Now I'm going to take and open this up here, and then this. Oh, I've got it loose down there, so I'm going to connect it. Connected all the way. And now we're going to take, open our high side valve, run that high side through the yellow hose, and that should be all we need to get that sealant to enter the system. That's it. Now the tube is empty, that means the sealant has entered the system. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that hose and hook up my low side hose to that suction port. All right. Let's disconnect. Huh. No more yellowish green neon substance. Excellent. Low side, high side hooked up like normal now. Check out this note right here, pause the video. You may also use a refrigerant cylinder to push sealant into the system while charging if the system is low on refrigerant. Just connect the Easy Seal Ultimate to service port and inject refrigerant through the injector into the system while charging. Using the refrigerant tank to push the refrigerant through the injector is a great idea, especially if you've got a mini split with only one port to hook up to. So that would be a good application for using that refrigerant tank to push the refrigerant through the injector into that mini split with only one port. Unit is running in the cool mode. 
I'm going to go to lunch. I'm going to leave this unit running in the cooling mode. That way that leak sealant flows through the refrigeration system. And maybe when I get back, I can use the UV light and the safety glasses to search for the leak or search for the dye. It was a good day for an inside job. It's been raining all morning. I'm going to go get a sandwich. Stopped at Trollinger's. Got me a sandwich. That's a potato salad. Five bucks. I love potato salad. You like potato salad? Me too. Mm. Mm. When we get back, it'll have been about 30, 45 minutes or so. See if we can find the leak. Make sure you take this out of the flashlight and you can put this little end piece back together unit still running time to find the leak make sure you wear protective gloves and safety glasses when you're installing this product make sure you don't bend this cut or deform this because if you do that then it's going to break and the liquid inside is going to leak out so we use this right here and you can see on the front of the UV leak detection kit, it says designed for use with the new Calgon Easy Seal Ultimate LSUV or SSUV, which is small system or large system. We use the one on the left, which is the large system. Now on the back, you can see there's a gentleman with the UV light and there is a part of that coil that seems like it's glowing. So for instructions, it says, Turn the UV flashlight on, scan system for bright yellow-green glow to show where system is leaking. Once the leak is found, wipe down leak site and make repairs. Okay. If you want to see any more of this, pause the video, stop it, read this. I think I found some spots here on these U-bins. Looks like it's glowing to me. So... Oh, what is that? I used this to make my job easier and to save the customer money. Let me explain. This geo unit is no longer covered under warranty, so I can't get any of the parts under warranty. I gave the customer two options. First option I gave the customer was to replace that indoor coil with a new filter dryer and new refrigerant. I told him the cost was going to be a little over $2,000. Then I gave him the second option. I said, we can install this Easy Seal product, this leak sealant with UV dye, and it may slow the leaking area down or it may fix the leak altogether. If it slows it down, it gives you more time to save more money to invest in your system or buy a new one. And if it fixes it, then it saves you a lot of money because that coil installed is over $2,000. So I'm glad I have this option to give the customer and I'm glad I have this to make my job easier. Let me know what your experience is if you've used any of the leak sealant products, the UV dye or the UV detection kit. If you do need any of those things, go check out the links in the description. Go check out New Calgon's website. If you've got questions, questions can lead to new content. So ask questions down below. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are. Let me know where you're from. If you like this video and you want more, go check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians, and don't forget to check out those videos on geothermal equipment. Hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you like.